If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 332. The fuel is the curiosity and the ambition is the drug. So think about those two things, right? If you're curious on, is there a better way? How could you do it? How would it be if you figured it out? And then through that process, you start to think, what's actually possible? And so my curiosity back in the day was, could I actually own my own gym? Could I actually have a profession doing what is most people's hobby, especially in the country where I'm from? There's no internet. There's none of that. I didn't know anybody that was a personal trainer, right? My curiosity was like, is that actual possible? Can I learn the skill to actually make people better? Can I learn the skill of actually how to personal train people? And then once I started to understand that, I became super ambitious on where, where could I really take this to? And so what a lot of people don't realize is that my curiosity has really never changed. I'm really just evolving it on, is it more possible to intermix this crazy lifestyle, but be kind of normal, right? Normal is kind of a relative term, but it's like, that's where anabolic fasting came from. Is it, is it, is there a possibility where we could squat all the time, but then take the dynamic method from West side and put the bands on top of the squats and then do conjugate, but seventies bodybuilding and fuck regular cardio. Let's do lunges instead. Like it's the curiosity. So as a true practitioner, I would go down these like rabbit holes of curiosity and I would find things. Then I would find things and I would take pieces of them and I would put them together which is why it's so hard to rip me off is because this ain't some out of the box shit. This is years of dedication and curious behavior, then practical application put together. And then when I put those together, my ambition to get them out to a lot of people, because I know that it works has it worked on me. It worked on the guys. It's worked on people on the website. It's like, that's really the drug. Cause then it's like, you get that feedback of wait, not only physically do I feel better, but mentally I feel better. And it's one of those things like what happens if we combine and make it cool or at least like get people thinking about doing personal development at the same time as they're doing cardio, the two birds for one stone. What happens if it becomes one of these things where every day I work on my physical and my mental? What happens if you then start to just unravel some things and really start to get better so then your confidence grows and then your curiosity to go try things, you just go and implement them. And then as you get small wins, that is the drug because then you become more ambitious and you start doing crazy ass shit and you start executing. And so this is my whole thing on 332 is that don't quit becoming curious. Don't not go down paths to try to find things out. Like that is part of life. That is also part of the daydreaming, but also going down and saying, what happens if, well, you know what? In a lot of situations, you can just figure it out. It can be your side project. It can be your thing that you're mainly focused on, but there's always something to be curious about. And I would just push you to continue that process. Daily fire episode 332.